you why I support it. Uh, you kind of have to get to know the people behind it. And I happen to know one of them quite well, Allison. She's my sister, which doesn't mean I have to support her. It just means I know a lot about her. And part of it is she's a creative, she's a musician. And that is a, a strength of hers. But also I've been able to see her evolve into a business owner, uh, savvy and uh, detail oriented and very driven to watch her build something out of nothing um, into this amazing business that answers a, a need. She saw that there was a need for this type of thing to happen and uh, because of who she is and the vision and passion behind it, that's why I became a supporter of that. And my husband and I both financially support the business, which means being a patron and with that comes uh, some perks, some benefits, and uh, part of that involves virtual concerts. So I have a six-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I don't get out much. So uh, the virtual concerts have allowed me to bring a concert to the house and show my children different types of music, different genres, different ways, um, uh, different types of instruments even to hopefully get the music world, um, music brain thinking in their heads. Um, so that's been really exciting. And then the other part of it too is I was able to host a block party in our neighborhood recently and the COVID world is crazy right now, but we were able to host the party, um, bring some musicians in through Wisconsin Music Ventures and kind of bring a sense of normalcy to our, our block party as well. Um, and then those musicians got to network and got another gig out of it too. So um, kind of a win-win for everyone is having uh, with musicians or music that uh, can educate us, that is accessible, but then for musicians, it provides opportunities as well.